Hi, welcome back. So we are working on a Lennox rooftop package unit today. So this unit is serving for a veterinary clinic. And I already checked the thermostat was set to cool. And now the unit is running. I can see the condenser fan moving. Condenser coil is dirty, I guess, but not locked. Just looking around. More warm air. So I will just take my temperature probe to the supply air section and we'll go from here before opening the unit okay so the supply <coughs> air temperature is 72.8 so definitely the unit is having issue and this is 2013 so just moving uh, around the unit we know the condenser fan is working that means we have a proper voltage high voltage and of course low voltage so so we're gonna open the electrical panel and check for the compressor contactor if it's uh, on or no. Okay here. So both contactor are pulled in means blower and the compressor. And uh, looks like uh, it is a refrigeration side of issue. So we have to check our so let's, let's open all the panel and see what is going on. Okay, so I have opened that uh, backside compressor's small panel. So the compressor is working, but the filters are not bad. And the suction line was not cold enough. So it looks like we have a loss of refrigerant. Cause of the loss of resin could be leakage somewhere in the system. And if you see here, you can see the distributor going to the operator lines, the multi, multi small lines, they are connected to the distributor. Okay, if you can see in the camera, I don't know, it's icing up. Freezing. So that's another sign of uh, low represent. So we're gonna hook up our gauges and uh, we'll confirm through the pressure reading. So look at the pressure reading. Wow, the suction line is having uh, 25, and high pressure side is 200, just below 200. So this unit doesn't have any low pressure switch, that's why otherwise the system like a 410, I have to confirm that, I think it's a 410. So 410 system usually shut, shut off if the rating goes below 50 psi at the suction side. So this unit doesn't have low pressure switch I can see, yes, that's why. So still the compression is running. But the unit has very low amount of represent. So we have to check for leak. You can see. So this system has a piston. And it's all covered with our eyes. Okay, so I have checked all the possible joint I I could check with my infrared lead director this section of the coil this section of the coil so found nothing and this mark I thought is oil but it was a, I think a solder mark during the manufacturing process no leak is here nothing anywhere in the condenser no the only thing I found here, the shredder wall, I'm not a big fan of this kind of shredder wall. If you see the stem, 
the core stem here is threaded so this type of shredded wall once they get disturbed like if you hooked up a hooked up gauge or something once they disturb this uh, uh, the wall core here and they start leaking so the smaller st uh, shredder wall like this one uh, on the liquid line they are good so we can tight the core we can replace the core but this this type of shredder wall they all once they start leak they leak see here I hooked up my gauges I think before I hooked up it was leaking yes. and I tried to press it many times and still leaking so I have encountered this kind of uh, issues in the past so I had to put a T cup T fitting there with the two shader wall and cap this share wall permanently so in this uh, unit I think it's the same issue here so we'll let the customer know and once he, once they approve the repair then then we'll come back with the refrigerant nitrogen so I'm gonna put uh, nitrogen and check it again at the 400 psi uh, uh, but I think it's, uh, that's the only leaking point they, the, the, the refrigerant got lost okay so so we have a leak on this shared wall so that was the cause of the problem for today and the same shutter wall is there so I'm gonna put uh, this fitting on these two shredder wall and also I'm gonna apply this uh, thread sealant to the wall core here and then we will charge the refrigerant and test it again okay so I have uh, fixed these two fittings to the respective line discharge and suction so since the system has already uh, R410A like a positive pressure inside the circuit so so just a little bit refrigerant was left so we do not need to uh, do the vacuum test and those stuff so we're gonna charge the refrigerant through the suction line okay so I have hooked up my cylinder through my cases and so first uh, of course we have to uh, purge our hose the air, we, have to, we have to let all the air out from our hose through this uh, connection here and then uh, I just opened a little bit of section side and then mostly I charge from that uh, high side so just a little bit so it's showing now 100 psi so of course I remove the R wire from the connection here so this uh, unit didn't have the low pressure switch so just for the compressor protection I had to remove the yes just making sure yes that didn't have the low pressure switch so I had to remove the R wire for the compressor protection so I'm gonna connect the R wire and we're gonna charge and of course I'm gonna clean the condenser coil it's too dirty okay so our ambient temperature reading is showing 82.4 So our suction uh, pressure is showing uh, 110 something, 1015 and high pressure side is uh, 325, so 110 or 15, uh, 325, yes and our ambient temperature was like 83, 84. 
Okay, so this is the Lenox uh, charging chart, refrigerant charging chart. And uh, we have to just uh, follow the spec here. So our temperature range, uh, ambient temperature range falls under this column. And so our suction side was 110, 15 and discharge was 325 so here 323 is 85 and our ambient was a little bit low like 83 something so, so this is the right pressure i think operating pressure our unit is working right now and we also can charge through the liquid line temperature here so if our unit is running operating pressures are running as per this spec so we are okay and we can also charge the system following this chart like a liquid temperature and the outdoor temperature here and there are liquid lap, uh, the our uh, the liquid line temperature should be like a five degree more than the ambient temperature if you for example this is 75 ambient temperature and the liquid line temperature they have mentioned it like uh, 80 oh no yes so a little bit so we just have to follow this back so i think our unit is working in the same uh, as per this first column here 103 323 or we can uh, measure it through I simply just charge the system by weight so uh, our system had a just a little bit of revision inside the circuit so we have to follow that spec and the supplier temperature is showing uh, 49.8 so this is good so i have cleaned the condenser coil so i, I will clean it when the unit is off and I think everything is looking okay. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.